In 1951, the United States did something that had never been done before. It tested a new kind of powerful nuclear weapon called a thermonuclear bomb or hydrogen bomb. The test, named George, was part of a group of tests called Operation Greenhouse that happened on a remote island in the Pacific Ocean called Inutak Atoll in the Marshall Islands. This bomb wasn't the same as the ones dropped during World War II. It was based on fusion, the same kind of reaction that powers the sun. Scientists were trying to figure out if they could make an even stronger explosion than before by using extremely high temperatures to fuse atoms together. The George test was a proof of concept, meaning it was mainly to see if their idea could work. It wasn't a full hydrogen bomb yet, but it was a big step forward. When they set it off, the explosion created a massive fireball and a bright flash of light that could be seen miles away. It showed that fusion was possible in a bomb and just how powerful it could be. This test helped lead to the first full thermonuclear bomb test called Ivy Mike in 1952. Why it mattered, it proved that fusion bombs could be made. It started a new, more powerful phase in the nuclear arms race. It changed the way countries thought about war and global safety forever.